Hello there. Today I've come out, i just done a little walk around the stunning Ogwen Valley. Penny Owen, there. We're heading this way. Check this out. This is right at the very beginning of the path up to Cumidwell. You literally walk 50 yards from the uh, car park and you're here. There's not much water on the river looking at it. I'll just turn around and show you this. Beautiful waterfall here. Look at that business, absolutely stunning. I'm going to photograph this waterfall on the way back down. Uh, I'm going to head my way up to the top, walk around the lake. There's some beautiful little waterfalls just up the top of the lake. Um, I'll do a little bit of more footage when I get up to the top to the lake. Uh, but it is stunning, so my plan is to walk around because the sky, as you can see, is just grey and boring and miserable. I'm going to uh, spend today just shooting some of these lovely, pretty little waterfalls. Try and catch some heather in the foreground as well. Yep, onwards and upwards. I'll see you up here. Halfway up. It takes about 20 minutes to get up to the lake up here. I'm about 10 minutes in. I'm already out of breath. Lockdown has done nothing for me, I tell you. Bet you more in the views. Straight out, A5 pass up to Anglesey. Absolutely gorgeous here. I am hoping to see a couple of jets. I've had a look over onto Penny Alwyn, and there are a few people up there. Now, I don't know if they're just climbing Penny Alwyn or if they're here to catch a few jets. Let's just look at this. I'll do a 360 for you. Oh, that's like a giddy doing it. That's where we're heading. The uh, the lake is literally just there. As you can see, car park is just there. Um, it takes say it takes about 20 minutes from the car park to the lake up the top here. You can then glow, uh, climb up Glodafac. Glodafer is it? That one. Um, a lot of people do. Not me. Too unfit. So for today, it's literally just a walk around the lake, catch some waterfalls with my little mate here. And, yep, yeah, see you by the lake. So here we are at the lake. Uh, this is Cumidwell. Just turn around. Penny Darwin. If you remember another video I did when I shot Travan, I was literally just on the peaks over there where the farm is. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro. Looking over across that Travan. Today I've come up here because the sky is so bad and there is a bit of a breeze so I've got no reflection, not much anyway. Um, I am going to just concentrate on waterfalls I think. Um, beautiful location. I'm going to head round the left hand side and walk around the lake clockwise. Uh, some of the nicer waterfalls are literally straight over in front of us. There's a big one over there which I should come to on the way back round. Then I should photograph in here on the way back. There's a nice shot to be had just on the bridge. Just looking down, straight point down. It actually looks good coming down this does. You've always got a lot of really bright green algae growing here. Um, and it looks fantastic. 
especially when the sun comes out and loads the orange up in the rocks. I can't see that happening today, so my plan is waterfalls where I don't need to sky in the uh, image and hopefully we can have a good day. Oh, Betsy's enjoying herself. Bets, Betsy, up. There you go. My little mate. One of you, eh, Bets? Here's the first big waterfall I wanted to shoot. As you can see, no water. I had this in Scotland and uh, it's looking the same here. This is usually a raging torrent here. It's absolutely fantastic. You can... It uh, comes all the way down. This is just normally, you don't see the rocks. It is just water that you see. Look at that for a view. Absolutely stunning. And I'll make my way around a little bit farther. Uh, there is another one. I'll just turn round to show you. There's one just behind this little mound here. And there's another one over the back. Hopefully I'll get some water there. I'm not holding there for much. If not, I'll, I'll just do some landscapes while I'm up here. I'll come back another day to the waterfalls. I do love it up here though. Just starting to rain and I've got no waterproofs with me. Unreal. Looks like Betsy's found something. dog at work. No better sight. Well, that is my first little waterfall. Again usually a raging torrent. When I get the camera out, I'm going to get a photograph. I'm liking the heather lining the waterfall now. So I'll get the camera out and uh, I'll talk you through the composition shortly. Beautiful. I'm going to do a focus stack. There is some of that just there. If I hit the focus button. I take the first shot there. And I'm going to move over to here. There's a refocus for there. Take another shot. And then there's more heather just on the rocks there. So that will be my third shot. My fourth photograph will be on the rocks at the bottom of the waterfall. Now I'll focus there, which will get the waterfall in focus as well, because we'll be shooting at infinity. Uh, and I think that should look really nice, especially if I can get the others uh, looking nice as well. It just looks nice orange in the foreground in the other, some nice purples in the rest of it. I think it's a pretty nice shot. Literally it's a simple composition. The waterfall is just coming down in the middle of the, the frame and then just running down and exiting down to the bottom right. Uh, pretty simple composition. I may get in the water shortly and try it from a lower perspective but I will put the photo on at the end of the video. Uh, yeah. Shape has got a bit more water but it's probably the best one I've seen here yet. So I want to get the shots and the camera back on. Yep, and I'll put it on laser. Well, the background, um, all the way around the lake, I'll just turn around. There's the lake behind you. Pretty much just one waterfall, it's, it's, all, it's all dry. Um, I think I'll come back. We've had some good rain and uh, do them again. They are massive waterfalls, they're fantastic. I was going to take a photograph of this, but again, you need the sunlight and the, uh, the green up in the water. So I'm going to leave this, I'm going to head down to the waterfall at the bottom 
I did a couple of photos there. There's a nice tree growing out the rock. If I can catch that, I, uh, I'm going to try anyway. But yeah, it's a fantastic walk around here. You're literally, just all the way around the lake. It takes a good hour to get around the lake. 20 minutes up to this bridge here from the car park, and you've got a good hour walking all the way around, taking in the sights and the waterfalls. Fantastic place. Lynn Ogwen, this is Cumidwell. Uh, get up here. Lovely. Betty's enjoying herself over there. She's playing in and out of the water. So, yep, yeah, we're way down now to the uh, waterfall at the bottom. And we'll see if we can get some up there. There we are, back at this first waterfall. I, uh, Beautiful. So again, this is normally a raging torrent over all these rocks. There's very little water here. So, this is what it is. This is uh, landscape photography for you. The sky is dreadful. It's just grey. A little bit of detail in it, not much. So I'm trying to cut out the sky in all my photos today. Uh, I'm going to get off. I'm going to work. Uh, Get a couple of shots. I do like the little tree sticking out the rocks over there. I'm going to try and catch that. There's some rocks over that too. I can probably get it from. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. It all helps. As you get these photos, and I should put them on now, and I'll catch you next time. See you soon.